So uh, we're here up in the Berkshires. Took a drive and as you can see, you can kind of pick your wood pieces out. What we're looking for right now is a, a board. We're gonna look for a big leaf maple. I really like the look of them. But they have some beautiful pieces here. As you can see even here, just all the different divots and stuff like that. Here's, here's your big leaf maple right here. And as you can see, the edges are really neat looking. All different uh, neat edges here. And we're looking for uh, a desk. Today we have some live edge boards here. These are maple that we picked up in the Berkshires. Um, and basically they have a, a store where you can get a lot of different live edge wood. As you can see, you have the edges on here. You've got some cracks. We're gonna be filling that with some resin. But I, I like the look of it. And we're basically be making some desks out of it. So step one is we get it out here at the garage to just visually inspect it, see what we're working with. Um, and we're gonna basically take some sandpaper now and do some sanding. Then we're gonna be cutting the boards in place so we know where we wanna put it. And then we're gonna be filling some of these deep holes with, uh, with resin. All right, so we've decided to cut this edge off. As you can see, I draw the line. Basically, the plan is to be sitting right here at this edge. That's gonna be my outside edge. So first, I've just marked it with a pencil. I'm basically to be taking my jig and then uh, cutting that with a jig. So now what I've done is I've just kind of lined the boards up how it's gonna be on my table here. As you can see, I have the two by four on top here, and this is just gonna be my layout. This is actually gonna be underneath and then supporting boards. Um, but all in all, you can see the crack seal and it's pretty good right here. But I'm just laying everything out. Um, and this is where we're gonna have a second support underneath. That's gonna be right through my floor. But it's gonna be a nice uh, desk once I stain it poly and stuff like that. Color, more of a maple color. Um, after the bath. As you can see now, we're uh, starting to stain. So you get some of the reds coming out, some of the dark veins, which are really cool. Uh, we're doing a couple different colors. Okay, so we just finished staining. We have just one coat. It came out really nice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to basically put this epoxy or resin in. And what we're doing first is we're taping with the uh, tacking tape the underside, the, the bottom. Uh, we're going to tape any cracks. Okay. So um, basically, as far as the resin is concerned, it's going to be 10 drops per ounce. Now, what I'm doing here is I just got this little uh, drink bottle. It's about 16, 17 ounces full. So, so about this top is about 15 ounces. So I'm going to basically do the math out for 15 uh, ounces. Also, I have some kind of copper fleck here um, just to give it a little bit of a flavor, if you will. <laughs> I'm going to pop this in here and uh, see how this looks. So uh, that, that's kind of a neat idea. And also when I put my uh, lighting in, it's going to be really neat. All right, so we'll go through and do Okay, so now we have the next day. As you can see, it's it's dried up. Um, it did sink a little bit in some spots. So I'll go back and add a second layer. Um, one of the locations here got a crack. So that's okay. We'll, we'll just refill that in, resand that over. Um, <clears throat> but all in all, it's pretty good for the first, first fill. Um, definitely going to need to refill it in some spots. Might add a little bit more copper flake to, uh, to some of the spots just so you get a a little bit of a brighter reflection. Okay, as you can see now, um, I have the resin in my first fill. You can see the um, metal copper flakes. And uh, it's coming out pretty good. I, it looks like it's gonna suck in a little bit, so I'm gonna let that dry. and have to come back and give it a uh, second fill. Uh, and then also re-sand it and maybe re-stain, we'll see. But um, not that bad. So now we've uh, 
basically done two fills and resanded. Basically sanded down with 220. Um, so we filled it with the resin and let that dry and then filled it again and then sanded that down. So this is the second uh, time after doing that. Basically what we do now is we're gonna stain this and after we stain it, then we can put some poly in it. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're putting the first coat of uh, polyurethane on. As you can see, you can see the metal flakes come through. Um, and before, we just sand it so it's very dull. But once you start putting the poly in, you can see those colors come through. So, it's nice and light. So we'll follow the grain. And we did the bottom first, so this is it, this is the top. We flipped it now. Um, so basically we give it one coat, give it a sand, and then give it one more coat. And that should be good. So what we have now is we're gonna get two boards in here in the room. We might first board attached here to the wall. Make sure this is level. Basically 28 inches off the top. That'll fit my chair and room nice. And as you can see, I've cut this board slightly here. That's because one of the boards is slightly thicker, quarter inch thicker, this one right here. So this is the one that's gonna jet out. So that's why I've cut that. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is basically put a board on this wall right here. And um, then we'll get it all supported. So this is the finished product. Um, I did purchase a copper pipe um, and just screwed it in, used that to hold up the, the unit itself. And one thing I'd recommend is sanding underneath just to make it smooth in your legs. But I uh, hope you like my video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and you leave any comments if you like. All right, thanks, bye.